praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Go ahead, start sharing. Um, go ahead and tag someone. Praise God, praise God. Um, you see the title. It says, Restore, Not Kill. Everyone misses it. Everybody misses it. This is going to be a deep one. It's going to be real deep. I, I didn't know God was going to take me this route. My foundational scripture is from Matthew. It is Matthew 23. Go ahead and share. Let me know you can hear me because I can't see anybody. I can't see anything on the screen. Praise God. Praise God. How y'all doing tonight? Praise God. So go ahead and let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Praise God. Say mic check or I see your apostle or something, please. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah to his name. Um, like I said, thank you. Thank you, Apostle Betty. My foundation of scripture is Matthew 23 and the verses. And, and I need you to listen to this verse because it's going to connect everything that I'm saying tonight. This is going to be some this is going to be some powerful stuff. I'm telling you, I don't know, I guess because I've been fasting and praying for the conference next month. God's been putting it on me. Y'all going to find out it, this is about to be some stuff tonight. OK, so praise God. The foundation of scripture is chapter 23, verse 27 says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are likened to white spectres, which indeed appear beautiful outward. Come on, somebody, beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones. Notice what it says, dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's the foundation of scripture. So, Go ahead and um, tag people, share, get on here. You know, they'll be able to actually reiterate it and re-share it. Okay, so I got some powerful stuff to say tonight. Some powerful stuff. Some stuff that is going to hit some people in the spirit like never before. Um, God was speaking to me about some things. And I mean, it, it's so deep. I don't even know where to begin. But I trust that God knows what to do and what to say. So let me go ahead and get the key points out the way before I flow. God says, number one, um, everyone misses it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't care how long you've been in the body of Christ. You will miss it. I don't care if you, if you start off as a babe and you've been in church 20, 30, 40, 50 years. I promise you, live long enough, you're going to miss it. Now, God don't miss it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God don't miss it, but we miss it. Because sometimes we don't wait for confirmation. Or let's be honest, sometimes we move too fast. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, not only that, he says, everybody in the Bible missed it. And he, and he did that on purpose. Because he wants us to know that, guess what? We're flesh. Come on, somebody. Flesh is a mess. We can do nothing aside from him. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so, another thing, too, the reason why I read the scripture, he said, he said, everybody is focusing on the outside. I mean, on the outside, yes, but, but not on the inside. People talk about how people look and how well they talk, especially preachers, teachers. And, and i.e., I'm going to use myself for example. Y'all don't notice I don't wear my white no more because I'm going to tell you why. Everyone, when I stopped wearing the white, they started saying, well, where's the white? Where's the white? Where's the white? And it hit me. I said, wait a minute. So if I don't wear the white, I ain't holy? Y'all don't hear what I just said. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's what's wrong with the whole body of Christ. Looking holy, but not being holy. So I said, I'm going to switch it up on them. Because guess what? Even if I come in here with my hair all over, no makeup, I'm still who God have called me to be. Hallelujah. Don't play with me tonight because I'm on one. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Oh, I'm going to break that thing. God said, restore, not kill. We kill each other with our murdering speech, our murdering tongue, our murdering slander, our murdering gossip. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Y'all know it's the true hallelujah. God is saying that he, he's tearing down every man-made law every man-made audience he says coming down hallelujah that means all the stuff that y'all tried to do and, and it's coming down come on some all these little mini kingdoms y'all don't hear what i'm saying and, and i'm gonna go somewhere with this tonight there are times when you miss it you you might make a mistake you i'm gonna go here you might sin you might fall back to drugs, alcohol, sex, cursing, lying, whatever the case may be and the first thing the church do Mm, you heard about so and so girl yeah oh, child don't play with me because y'all know it's the truth hallelujah instead of restore that sister restore that brother y'all kill him only in the body of Christ we leave our people wounded, wounded to die we leave our people when wounded to die when we're supposed to restore them revive them resuscitate them hallelujah it's a 911. It's an emergency in the body of Christ because y'all killing each other. And God said he's tired of it. 
See the devil trying to trip me up, but no, no, no. I'm going to speak this thing the way God want me to speak it. Hallelujah. That's why I say press and share because I feel like I'm about to explode. I'm not kidding. That's how much anointing is inside of me tonight. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. And I was like, God, I say, so what are you saying? He said, no matter what they miss it, they still mine. David missed it. Saul missed it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Remember when Saul wanted to kill David and they asked him, they, his servants say, why don't you just kill him? And he could have. Remember when he snuck in the cave and got his sword? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said, I won't touch him because he's still the Lord's anointing. But y'all will get up there and y'all will slay people on Facebook. Y'all will slay them in person. Y'all will slay their character. Y'all will assassinate their character. And God is not pleased. Where is the restoration? Where is the revival? Where is the love? But you say you're a man and woman of God. Stop loving. Lying, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Case in point. Case in point. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're going to peel that onion back tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. So when they miss it. No, no, no. Yes. Yes. Paul says in Corinthians, admonish them. That means don't give them no position, but let them sit down and get reevaluated by God, not you. Hallelujah. You're throwing away people. And that's why we're losing people. Oh, God. I knew you was going to make me say this. Mm, I knew it was going to make me say it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it before I got up on here. But I, I'm woman enough to say it. Hallelujah. Because I got to. My God. My God. T.D. Jakes. I know y'all going to be mad because that's y'all favorite one. Bishop Eddie Long was under his tutelage for years. He loved him. I watched this. Matter of fact, what people don't know is I didn't really just start in just Atlanta. I mean, I, I was positioned as a youth minister in Manor, Louisiana, but I've been in church in Atlanta. I was under Dr. Cynthia Hale, Ray of Hope. I remember when Bishop Eddie Long purchased, this was in the 80s, purchased our church because he was growing so fast and, and we wasn't. I'm just being real. And I remember how he loved Bishop T.D. Jakes. I'm going somewhere with this. Now, right, right, wrong, wrong. But I'm here to tell it all tonight because I got to say this thing how God want me to say it. I know that they say he did that. And honestly, even if he did, Bishop Jakes left him when he needed him. He was supposed to restore that man. Make him get up and apologize and say, I, I repent, hallelujah. And then maybe he wouldn't have died the way he died. And he'd have died in dignity. Instead of y'all talking about him like a dog. Yeah, I say that. That's how ministry is done. And I can show you biblically. We don't turn our back on each other. I don't care what you do. We don't turn our back on each other. Because that's what the world do. And we're supposed to be better examples. But we haven't been. Okay, let's talk about somebody living. When Brian Corn got in that situation. False prophesying or lying or whatever the case may be. With that medium. That psychic. Where was Benny Hinn? Nowhere to be found. And no, it ain't gossip. This is reality. You do not stand by the same people that you gird. How is it, God says, woe unto you Pharisees and Sadducees, and the blood is on your hand. We all going to fall short, and we all fall short of the glory of God. But we are to restore each other through prayer, through fasting, and yes, getting up on here or, or whatever pulpit or whatever and say, I repent to the people of God. I repent to God, but I'm going to be restored. That's how they did it back then. That's how they did it. Come on, somebody. And the New Testament, come on, somebody. I'm going to tell you even more so. Let's go Jesus times. When Mary Magdalene came in and they wanted to convict her and he said, well, it, those who without sin cast the first stone. But he didn't just say that. He said, woman. Go and sin no more. That's what we're supposed to do with each other. My brother, my sister, you're going to be all right. My brother and sister, yeah, you failed, but you're going to be all right. My brother and sister, but no, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. Talk, talk, talk. Beat them down. Beat them down. Beat them down to the ground so they cannot recover. Oh, what have we done? And yet we say that we are a church that walk in love. Somebody lying. Somebody lying. It is time for us to restore one another. I'm so tired of this. And let me tell y'all something too. And I'm going to say it. So since I haven't been wearing the white. Some people. Well apostle. What happened to the I'm going to tell you what happened to the white. The white gone. I might never put it back on. I'm still child of God. Hallelujah. And let's talk about something else. Miss Montgomery. And I'm not attacking you boo boo. You come on my thread and you said. Well. And hold on. You did it on my testimony. So that's how I know either you're a plant or you're unlearned. 
And you're older than me, so I'm not going to disrespect you. But you say, well, uh, I don't know, Apostle, you know, Apostle said that Obama wasn't going to get out of office and that there wasn't going to be an election. I sure did. I sure did. I sure did. Now, here's the deal. God don't lie. So that means I got to take this thing. So y'all been waiting for this? Well, let me go ahead and tell it right now. I must have missed it. I didn't. I, I did hear because he's coming back. I promise you. I don't know how. And, and that was the thing. Maybe I, maybe I spoke a little too soon because you, you know when you have a word from the Lord, sometimes you try to help God out. I will repent and say maybe I moved a little too soon, but I will not repent for what God showed me. Hallelujah. Y'all been waiting for that one, right? There it is. So what? I missed it. I missed it. I moved a little too fast. Am I not still Apostle Deanna? Who are you to judge me, woman of God? Y'all gonna stop playing with me. Oh, y'all gonna stop playing with me. I love you, but don't, stung, don't come here playing with me. Because God is all I got. Hallelujah to his name. And I love y'all. Amen. I don't, don't get it twisted. Amen. But know what you're talking about before you come on a woman of God's page. Because some of y'all, y'all don't know the anointing people have. You will get backlash before me. Hallelujah. Because one thing, I'm not a liar. And, and, and I'm, not too, I'm not too high to say... I move too fast. I'm not too hard to say I missed it. What? You thought I was going to lie? Child, please. Woo, I'm on one. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So, and, that's, and, 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 I, and I use that to incorporate. That's exactly what we do. Point the finger. You said this. You did this. You, you. I sure did. But I thank God. I got a God that knows how to restore and, and good thing I, I didn't let all that negative hate at that time last year get in my... It, and it did. It did for one moment. For one moment, I thought maybe I might not be. And then God said, don't stop that. You are definitely mine. You just moved a little too fast. You were trying to figure out how I was going to do when I do how I was going to do it. Because I really thought they was going to just keep him in the office. But they, they pulled the fast one. Okay. I still saw what I saw. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all got to stop that. And, and not just to me, to everybody. Don't y'all see? That's why, that's why the enemy has come into the church and has everybody playing against each other. Because who, who is the accuser of the brother? Satan. It shouldn't be you, my brother. It shouldn't be you, my sister. It, the Bible says confess your sins one to, one to another. That means, guess what? That should be some love. The same grace and mercy that God extends you from day to day. It's the same grace and mercy that you're supposed to extend your brother and sister. Where is it? But no, y'all quick to whew, slay. And not pray. And, that, and that's what's weakening people. They make a mistake. And you preachers. That preach it over the pulpit. God said he's, he's not pleased with that. If you have a problem with a member, a member of a church. Or you hear something. You're supposed to call that secret meeting. You ain't supposed to. Yeah, yeah so you are a liar before God. Because that pulpit ain't supposed to use. And guess what? I might as well tell y'all everything. God say that pulpit is not to be used for politics either. Ooh. Because some of y'all use it. Well, you know. That pulpit is just supposed to be used for the word of God. To restore his people. To show his power. To demonstrate his power. To cast out demons. What are you doing? What are you doing? But y'all also with the facade. Do I have to read that scripture again? Woe unto you Pharisees. You hypocrites. Because you're looking from the outside. Look all pretty. And, and in the inside there's, there's dead men bones. Hallelujah to his name. We got to do better church. And I say we put myself in. We got to do better. We have to do better. As if we said we love the Lord. Because the Bible says, how can you say you love me whom you've never seen and hate your brother and sister whom you do see? Somebody lying again. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We all miss it. So what am I saying? This is a dust saying, the Lord, restore your sister, restore your brother. And even those that are, more so those are not in the fold. Stop, stop just throwing people away. Thank you, Jesus. He don't do that. And y'all lying talking about Jesus don't talk to sinners. That's the first time God talked to me. I was high as a kite. And I know what I heard. Hallelujah to his name. So stop that. Because that's who God. He said, I ain't came to save. Mm. He said, I've came to save that which was lost. And y'all just turning them away. Y'all killing them. Y'all, y'all, whoo. Woe unto you, God said. So we have to do better. Oh, I'm so full. I'm so full. I'm so full. Hallelujah. You got to do better. That's all I got to say.
That's all God told me to say, and that's all I'm going to say. We have to do better. We're killing each other spiritually. And when you die a spiritual death, physical come death next, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So stop that. Stop, stop, stop. Think about when you're going through. Don't Jesus have mercy on you? Because we ain't always good. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, you guys. I love you guys with the love of Christ. Praise God. And Miss Montgomery, I ain't mad at you, honey. I just said to tell you the truth. Because no matter how old you are, you will always be doing and dealing in the body of Christ. You you must be old school. Because you, and oh, thank you, Lord. He told me. And you say, watch their fruit. I know you don't know me, Miss Montgomery, so let me tell you about my fruit. Everybody that has been under me, nothing has ever happened. They standing and they strong in the Lord. And they are called and appointed and anointed and they ain't fake. I have good fruit, honey. So God bless you. And guess what? I might tell you something else. I may miss it again before I die. What does that mean? It just means that I am human and I need God every day, every night, every moment, every hour. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all have mercy on each other, grace on each other. Yes, call out wrong. Yes, wrong, wrong, right, right. But do it with love, God says. Restore, not kill. All right, God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon, Real Lot Soldiers. For that is who you are.